one o'clock, town folk. All right, grilling is awesome, but what isn't awesome is how easily the grill gets funky and sticky. Most of the time I see people grilling at home, they're working on rusty surfaces full of chunks with old sauce and burnt food. Burgers, steaks, fish, especially fish, tend to stick to that surface, leaving nasty little bits behind too. So the first thing I do is actually season it, and I season it like a cast iron pan or something. So what I'll do is take the grill, burn it over the coals for about five or 10 minutes, and that's gonna soften and loosen up all that crud. Then I take a wire brush and scrub the heck out of it. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. If you're in a pinch and you don't have a wire brush or something, you can just use a wad of tin foil or whatever. Um, that'll get the job done for the most part. The last thing you're gonna do is take a rag and tie it up into a little roll and get it nice and oily. And with tongs or something, you're gonna just wipe the grill while it's ripping hot with the rag, the nice oily rag. You do that a few times and you'll see the grill gets shiny and black and kind of glistens. And now you're gonna have a nice seasoned nonstick grill. So when you put stuff like fish or chicken or burger on it, it's gonna lift right off, be super seared and crusty and nice and gorgeous and not stick at all. It takes a tiny bit more work, a little more effort, but it actually in the long run makes it so much easier to grill and get awesome food. Oh, 